From old school windmills to super modern turbines, people have been using wind power for a long, long time. Let's explore some fascinating, interesting and controversial facts about wind power generation. The largest wind turbine. The Siemens Gamesa SG14 236DD turbine has blades longer than a football field. One of these giants can power over 15,000 homes for a whole year. That's like a whole small town powered by just one turbine. Offshore wind farms can really catch the strong winds. The North Sea, for example, has so much wind power, it could power all of Europe many times over. The wind blows harder and more steadily out there, showing us what the future of energy could look like. Wind power has been around for ages. People used windmills a long time ago to grind grain. Now we have huge turbines with computers and sensors. These tall, modern turbines can even change the angle of their blades to catch the wind perfectly. The blades of wind turbines are designed using principles from airplane wings. The same aerodynamic forces of lift and drag enable turbines to spin efficiently. This turns the invisible power of the wind into the power we can use. A wind turbine is good for the planet. A single wind turbine offsets its manufacturing and installation carbon footprint within in just six to nine months. Then it can work for 20 to 25 years, making electricity without hurting the environment. That's why wind power is so important for fighting climate change. Wind is great for turbines, but too much wind can be a problem. If there's a big storm or hurricane, the turbines shut down to protect their blades. Lots of countries are using wind power to make their energy cleaner. Denmark gets almost half of its electricity from wind. This shows us that countries can power themselves with clean energy. Wind power is intermittent. It generates electricity only when the wind blows. The lack of efficient large-scale energy storage solutions limits its reliability as a standalone power source. Some residents living near wind turbines report discomfort due to the shadow flicker caused by rotating blades casting moving shadows on homes or landscapes. That's why it's important to plan carefully and talk to the people who live near wind farms. Wind turbines have been criticized for their impact on birds and bats. Some estimates suggest thousands of bird deaths annually due to wind farm collisions though this is far less than caused by buildings or vehicles. When wind turbines get old, we need to recycle them. While turbines are recyclable to an extent, their large fiberglass blades are difficult to recycle and often end up in landfills. Floating offshore turbines, like those in Norway's High Wind project, allow wind farms in deeper waters, opening up vast new areas for power generation. Some wind farms integrate solar panels and storage batteries to generate continuous power and mitigate intermittency. Vertical axis turbines and bladeless designs are being developed to reduce noise, environmental impact and maintenance costs. 